Hello, fuckaroonies. Hello. Hello, little fuckers. <laughs> um, Alright. Whoops. Shit. What's up, you little fucking slat? We're here. Eldis is a fucking bitch who's not here just yet. Yup. Uh, because he's got one of these. He's got very small... 
Bubsy says I played some eldest beats at a party and got so much pussy for real. <laughs> <laughs> How appropriate that he's not here to hear that. He doesn't Bubsy, deserve congrats, to hear the, man. He doesn't preser- deserve to hear the um, the fruits of his labor. That's right, everybody. Hit Bubsy with that three point two. I'm wearing a bucket hat today. I'm on bucket hat mode. Bucket hat season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bucket hats. Ow. Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Bucket hats rock. Oh yeah, I'm a big bucket hat boy. Hey, hey, Sid, I didn't see the titties. I'm sorry. I'll take a look again. Um, <clears throat> what titties? I'm just talking to the chat. Hmm? What's up? Good ep of pod don't lie. Thank you, fuzz guts. Yeah, I'm on a fucking today. <laughs> I'm on a tear today. I did pod don't lie in the morning, ten thirty. Uh, was zipped on over to Brooklyn to do Come Town, and here we are. I'm Mister. I'm three shows Halkis today. Ali boy. Uh, what's up, Chef Dab? Thank you for saying that. Whoa, whoa, Clayton the King. I don't know about all that. <laughs> Fuck Greece, Turkey gang. Oh no. <laughs> it's time to learn. Okay. Don't let's mm. not talk about all this conflict, all this sectarian violence. Yeah. Um, oh, while we wait for Elders to get here, I want to plug. Uh, my my biz my new business venture <laughs> stavi dot biz uh, and let me show you here what we got sorry George I'm covering your face I'm covering mine as well we got a lot of nice cute t shirts um, dream cute. to imagine we got the dream to imagine tee right here you know what I'm saying you're gonna love this folks look at that you could wear that across your titties um, <laughs> we also have let's not forget uh, the most famous piece of music anyone's ever made can I see your penis? we have the official can I see your penis t-shirt on sale yeah. now <laughs> oh and look who the fuck decided to join us wow Is it the third man look who the fuck decided to join us you're going right live don't say any n-words we know you're racist eldest <laughs> Pussies. <laughs> you can suck this wet ass pussy, bitch. Uh oh. There he is, current event Sula. I watched a video today. I was. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Is that I, old? I watched a video today. I was like, what the fuck? The censor version is like gushy and. No, it's wet and gushy, you fucking dumbass. Wet and gushy, yeah. <laughs> What's the uncensored? Wet ass pizzosy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wet ass pizzosy. Yeah, man. That's what, I, that. that's what I call it, at least. Well, we're just going right. to block your face with... Uh, I'm going to block your face. I'm in the middle of a plug trying to sell my beautiful t-shirts. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> let me just play uh, it again. I thought you were gonna... see your penis. <laughs> we got the official "Can I See Your Penis" T-shirt on sale right now. Oh my god! Uh, at, at I, the ho- store. I hope Scott Stapp sues you. <laughs> he can sue this little dick, <laughs> um, Mr. Stapp. If you're hearing this, no, you can't. Please don't. <laughs> um, and then we also have some classic designs: the Stavi Greek yogurt shirt. And some thought, nice, beautiful I gonna, stuff. I thought you were going to say you're going to put a wet-ass pussy over my face. No. you would. Like well, I would, but I know pussy. I don't want you to throw up uncontrollably. We have, a, <laughs> we have a stream to do. And when you have a pussy in your face, you can't help but gag and vomit bile from the depths of your stomach. It's not just your lunch. It's, it's the very, your very being. You throw that up because your body is re- so revolted at the idea of pussy, it tries to cease to exist by being no. expelled. Yes, I'm actually I'm actually very used to wet ass pussy in my face. No, and no. it and it gets me horny. wrong. No, shut up, bitch. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't disgust me <laughs> a lot. No, Eldis, stop. <laughs> um, in fact. All right, we've got a really nice show for you. We've got we're doing one of one of the best artists, uh, maybe the best artist of all time, arguably the greatest, the artist greatest ever artist who've ever lived. Certainly better than anything Albania has ever churned out, <laughs> and that is El Greco, Dominikos, <laughs> what's his name, Theotokopoulos. Yep. 
Dominikos Theotokopoulos, better known as El Greco, one of the hardest dick savages of all time. Um, and, uh, hmm, how do I fucking... <clears throat> anyway, um... Big hmm. Domenicos. The Grec. The Grec. Hold on a second, I'm trying to figure something out. Do you gotta um, block that cocksucker? What's that? This guy in the chat. <laughs> Who, oh my god, Jesus Christ. You gotta block that cocksucker for real. <laughs> Is someone saying bad words in the chat? I think so. Uh oh. Um, okay, hold on, what's his name? I guess I'll do it myself. Down on him. Thank you for rented, boy gash. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. He's really busy. Oh, he's a busy guy, this guy. <laughs> yeah, he's fuck? got a lot to do. I don't I do not have a gash for my face and I'm not gay. Thank you very much. This is what happens when you live in a free country. People are just going to say stuff, you know? That's true. Oh, oh. Okay, he's gone. Sorry, I guess I could... I didn't realize I could ban. Put him in the fucking piss cage, everyone. Put him... This is nice. I didn't know I had the fucking... I didn't know I had the power to ban. <laughs> Can I time you out? Hith on it, eh? Oh, dude, now that I know I've got control of the fucking piss cage, it's over for you. Oh, is that what you think, Bobby Bustanut? Is that what you think? Uh, piss cage for Bobby Bustanut, everyone. <laughs> Put him in there. I got, I'm, it's me. This is, remember, you know when Tony kills the guy, when Tony does a personal murder, when he's like, I know it's not, he's like, he just treats himself to a murder. This is me. I'm shooting off at the gun, at the fucking hip right now. Which murder was this. that? See, I don't want to see. I, I didn't want to say it because I'm. I don't want to spoil because I. I even though it's a 15 year old show, um, I'm a. Uh, I'm a. Spo I don't want to spoil The Sopranos for anyone, but that's what's going on here. Damn, My bro, shooters. You watch The Sopranos yet, man? You gotta get to it, man. I. I would say. I would say. What the fuck are you doing if you haven't seen it yet? But I didn't see that shit until like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I, same like here. Two years ago. Yeah, there's a lot of fuck. This is this so. Is what fuck me while I'm at it. Well, definitely fuck you. <laughs> what? Just no, for I nothing. Can just that. cause. Can say that. Um, the stuff, Pranos. Yeah, you haven't seen it, Mike Lenahan. See, I saved Mike Lenahan. Okay, fair point. Um. Anyway, I love it. I got the fucking blicky. Pop, 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 and it's going down. London flexing stopped at season two. Didn't like it. Piss cage. Wow. Piss cage for saying that. <laughs> what? That's, that's some wild that's a shit. Crazy take. <laughs> what do you Made watch, my guy? Seasons? Piss cage for saying you didn't like The Sopranos, and Get that's how the fuck we're getting down. Put him, like Put him in the fucking piss cage. Put him in the fucking piss cage. I can't believe what the fuck I'm hearing. You don't like a bunch of Italian sociopaths eating gabagool and, <laughs> and lying on their taxes? That shit rocks. <laughs> the piss is flowing like wine this fucking evening, folks. On this special Tuesday 6 p.m. edition of the Halkis Brothers featuring Bitch Ass Eldest uh, art stream. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry, we, we had a couple different things going on. Eldest had a busy day at the Gay Sex Factory, and then I also had... <laughs> I wanted to watch basketball, and it turned out the game I wanted to watch, Bucks Raptors, every meaningful player sat out. So it was a bullshit game. Um, and uh, now, so we're doing today, 6 o'clock, so that I can also catch the Blazers Mavericks game, which will tip off, I'm guessing, somewhere around 640. So I'll miss probably the first quarter, but who cares? Um, that's right, look. I, I am fucking, I got, I will, you were in the piss cage with impunity around here, uh, motherfuckers. <clears throat> <laughs> That's right, Kiki Go. See, it's fucking, it's fucking North Korea out here. I want to make that very clear. There will be, <laughs> there will be no differing opinions. This is not a place for fucking discussion. This is a place for the party line. Who, yep. who was it, London Flexing? Hmm? Who was it, London Flexing? I don't know. I only I only timed him out for a minute, I think. 
Um, so anyway. <clears throat> so, um, we have a, but we have an excellent artist to get to today, folks. Um, and, uh. Yeah, he was really good with all the Italian influence in his work. Who? No, shut the fuck up. El Greco. Oh, that's right. We were saying easily one of, maybe the greatest artist of all time, definitely by five million miles better than anything Albania has ever produced, with the possible exception of Elijah Dushku's breasts in The New Guy, in the movie The New Guy. <laughs> uh, other than oh, that, damn. though, yeah, shouts out to her. I know. That's, obscure. Just, That's just an obscure gl- reference, but I remember those titties as soon as you said it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because we had it on VHS. I jacked. And remember the kitchen VHS player we had, George? I jacked <laughs> yeah. off in the kitchen a couple times watching Not that while them. everybody was upstairs. Damn, you wild for that. <laughs> like immediately after eating some shit out the fridge. <laughs> no. Late nights. Every, I knew where everybody was. Mom was probably at work. Dude, the snack is the alibi there, but let's just say. <laughs> It's part of the it's part of the crime scene. I had it down to a science, and you're exposed, by the way, in that. George knows exactly what I'm talking about. Elvis, you might remember too. You're out in the open, jacking off with your back to the stairs. The living room. I had to do what I had to do. (laughs) No, 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 no. I can totally see like being down at that kitchen table, looking at the TV, and like just beating your dick, but like keeping a keen ear out for the stairs. See, I didn't even do that. I had the fucking I had it one of the chairs cuz we, we I imagine remember video game position on that TV? Remember when we'd pull the chairs close to like yeah, the little yeah, lip yeah, where it was? Yeah. That's where I was jacking off, not at the table. I wasn't even hiding my dick under the table. I was just out in the open in a chair oh, close your back. Well, no, the chair the chair's even better cuz like your back. Dude, if you got your back to the stairs like that, you just slipped your cock in your your like underpants and that's true, all you got to true. do. True. Luckily, I was never I was never um I was never um a little close to caught. Yeah. But uh I did jack off quite a bit there. Dude, there was a stretch when I was like living in my childhood home where like it would just be easier to jerk off with the door open <laughs> cuz like I could hear my grandma's my grandma walking up the steps slow as shit better that way. So I just like keep the porn on low or like keep one headphone in. Your, your grandma wasn't a problem, bro. Super slow, can barely yeah. hear. I mean, like, anyone like any of my parents coming like once they were all downstairs. Right. You have more than open enough season time to put the cock away. To put the, the cock away, especially your cock. You could hide it. You could put a little piece of dust over it to hide it. <laughs> it takes even, the same time. No. Even yeah, if just, you have the biggest cock. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um. <clears throat> anyway, folks, so to to just to the important thing to note though is that there have been no good Albanian artists and actually we challenged Eldis and you know what actually I'm sorry Eldis. I am assuming this, but I'm sure you did a lot of the research that we asked you to do. <laughs> so why don't you tell us right now oh, definitively yeah. once and for all who is a who is a famous Albanian artist we should cover? This is an ambush. You didn't tell me I'd need to do the research for today. <laughs> I believe uh-huh. that was what we discussed last week. In all fact, I, you had an I extra asked, day. All I asked was for you to give me a name and I would do the research. Wow. You didn't even, you didn't even Google <laughs> didn't Albanian even artists. do a light Googling. I don't know. I really don't. And I told you that I was going to pick a Greek artist if you didn't, and I already knew you weren't. <laughs> I was going to go with Fasianos, but I decided to go with arguably the greatest artist ever. Greatest artist ever. happens to be Greek, El mm-hmm. Greco. El, El Greco. Look, I'm just, gl- I'm just glad he was able to get out of 15th century Greece when he could and soak <laughs> in the culture of Italy and Spain. Quiet. Okay, you know, let's run the fucking... I, I think it's actually time to run the uh, algorithm before we get going. Um, yeah. Oops, shit, fuck. I guess, he was, I guess he was part of an elite... Shut the fuck up. An elite group of Greek artists in the 1500s, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. what I think he did was, to get to Italy, he walked through some weird patch of land with a bunch <laughs> of weird people living in, like, clay huts, and he's like, what the fuck is this place? <laughs> Like well, to get to Italy from Greece, you have hey, to go to this Hey, that's not a generator. Weird, You're typing it. This what? weird place called Albania. You're typing it. You're not no, randomly not. running a generator. Okay, it looks like it's me, George, and Lisa suck to penis. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Good shit. 
Let me get that little screen share. While of you're course, ready. my brother. <clears throat> all right, you're all you're all set to go. All right. Let's just get the little picture of his little face. Oh God. Cardone moi. You are. I don't know. I just ate a, like a lot of eggs. Had a few Lacroix. <laughs> Eggs and LaCroix for lunch, huh? Or for dinner? <laughs> it's not quite dinner yet. I make like a Chinese food. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> but I'll Respect. probably have to. But I'll probably have to take a shit first. Of course, you got a bubbly little fucking egg shit, rumbling. <laughs> this is our mm. sweet old egg-headed Greek man, El My Greco. man, Domenico. Domenico's Theotokopoulos. <laughs> um, if we're gonna say like a teacher, mm-hmm, Mr. Theotokopoulos, Mr. Theotokopoulos, okay, our guy Domenikos. Shouts out um, to Domenikos. He was born in 1541 on the island mm. of Crete. I love okay, him. he was born in Iraklion, which is, um, I think it's the capital of the island. I don't even know, I believe it is, yes. Um, Truth be told, don't know much about Crete, except it's, like, the crime capital of the country. I guess they have a terrible police system. Oh, really? System. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, people get stabbed and shot there. Respect. I don't know what happens there. It's it's in a tricky place, you know. It's Well, back then, I'm pretty sure somebody had had stolen it from us after the... the oh, yeah, Byzantine well, um, Domenikos was actually... Um, he was actually born in... What's, like, the Republic of fucking one of those... Mm -hmm. Like... Some, like, Italian Republic took over Crete, and he was technically born in an Italian Republic. Interesting. Um, Interesting. So, yeah, hold on. I know what it's called. Oh, the Republic of Venice. Ah, the Venice. Back when Venice had juice. Yep. So, um, his daddy, George Theotokopoulos. Yorgaki. Oh, Yorgakis. He was Mike Lenahan, don't make me put you in the fucking... Don't make me put you in the piss cage saying he's an Italian artist. Do not no, make me put you in the he was Greek, yo. He's Greek. What's his fucking name? Most scholars believe that the Theotokopoulos family was almost certainly Greek Orthodox. These fucking bitch-ass Catholics have no claim, all right? Oy. I'm actually Greek Orthodox as well. Yeah, that's true. You're Russian that's Orthodox. True. No, that's that's I, true, FD heel. I was, yeah, I was <laughs> baptized in the Greek Orthodox Church. <laughs> that's true, actually. Well, this I was is a true. refugee in Greece. Well, this is true name is Eftichio. Eftichio is lucky. The name Jesus gave my, him. My mom said the church people, when we were like refugees, loved us. Mm -hmm. and they said that all the, she was like, all the other Albanians were like pieces of shit. They would just trash the, <laughs> trash the apartments. Uh, that's so funny. You guys, they were like, look, there's some good ones too. <laughs> you guys were house Albanians? <laughs> we We almost lived there. Damn. Isn't Imagine that, that. Oh, God, I would love to just have known an eldest that speaks fluent Greek. <laughs> Thick accent, but new English just fine. It can still happen. I would have loved for you to move here when you were, like, 16, so you could just be like, oh, Hey, yeah. what's up, guys? How's Hello, going? everybody. <laughs> what's going on, guys? <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're watching game today. What are we doing? What part of Greece were you guys, you guys went to? I don't really know. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so all three of us have been... All four people on the screen right now were Greek Orthodox, without a doubt. Um, That's the funny thing about all this, man. He trashes us, you know, but deep down, the country saved him. Mm -hmm. uh, our mm -hmm. people gave him Christ. That's right. Really fucked up, man. Because right. he used to be a pagan. Because Albanians were pagans dude. up until the 80s. That was then. Now it's just like, fuck religion. <laughs> oh, yeah, hell yeah. Bro. Uh, I don't yeah. fuck with that shit. <laughs> Uh, hey man, it's a miracle that you're not Muslim. I mean, Albania. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> That's true. If you guys don't know, please Google. Albania is a majority Muslim country, I believe. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So there we go. And there it is. Anywho. So here, here we have our boy Domenikos, and he is born in Crete. Yep. Crete, and it was under fucking Venetian rule after, I believe. That's probably some after the Byzantine Empire collapsed, yeah, all that post -Byzantine. shit. Post-Byzantine. All these fucking, all these fucking Italians were snatching up whatever the fuck they could. 
Yep. Uh-huh. And I'm pretty sure after that, um, they only had the island for like a couple of years because the Ottomans just were still. The Ottomans came in and were like, Hans? They were still high powered. Give us that shit. Yeah. Let me get that. So what's up with, so he grows up in Crete and what's going on with him? Tell us a little bit about. So his pappy, George, was a merchant and a tax collector. So I guess everyone must have hated him. <laughs> He's like, let me get the, the doubloons, babe. Mm-hmm. Let me get the kerns, the drachma. You owe me. Um, Two points on the vig. You better have my it. fucking money. <laughs> um, so nothing is known about his mother, apparently. Uh-oh. Um, but they know that she's just a Greek lady from the, okay. the island. Had that good um, gush gush. Yep. So his, wap, wap, wap. his brother, Manusos, mm. was, a, was also a wealthy merchant. and um, Oh, so he came from basically stockbrokers. Yep. Ancient star- stockbrokers, and he's the artist of the family. Yeah, anytime you're an artist back then, you're just from a rich family. Cause yeah. Everyone else had to learn to, like, grow potatoes. Yeah, that's what they said. <laughs> they, they sent their gay child to learn art. <laughs> so they the didn't have to didn't understand math and business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, so, anyway... Um, our guy El Grec received his training. A lot of people are saying his mother was a whore. That makes sense. Maybe. Hey, she's a whore. First Even of better. all, she was a whore. A whore. Whore. Anywho, um, hey. so anytime you're from Greece and you're a painter back then, you're just a fucking Byzantine icon painter. Right, right, right. So he just learned, he trained as an icon painter of the Cretan school. The Cretan school is just like the Greek like movement of like icon painting that's just what they call that shit yeah and i will give them credit i will say this about the eye ties back then the rest of probably mainland greece i don't know what the fuck was going on in the 1200 1300s but they probably you probably had a little bit more access to some fucking some uh art schools and shit like that because of the italian influence yeah um So he's out here learning fucking Byzantine painting and shit, going to the Crete school, you said? Yeah, and um, apparently, so back then, um, Iraklion was called Candia. That was just, like, the nice. city name. And um, it was, like, a bunch of painters from, like, all over Europe would just go there for a little bit to just kind of learn that style. So it was, like, I didn't know that, but it was, like, a straight-up center of, like, artistic like, Interesting. creativity. Interesting. Um, so he so he was around a Greek metro a city metropolis, artistic metropolis. Pretty much. That's pretty good. Hey, and um, so apparently around two hundred painters were active in Crete around that time. So okay, um, had a nice little scene going. Yep, and they organized the guild, a little painters guild, oh, a squad, um, and. On the island, at the age of 22, all the painters proclaimed El Greco a master of that style. Damn. Um, so I guess there was, like, a hierarchy, and he was already, like, master in, like, the guild, which meant he was just high-powered, real OP. I love that. Did he get pussy out of the whole deal? Man, I, I couldn't even tell you, man. Honestly, <laughs> he's really not like Caravaggio. If he was a, if he was a goon, then it would be on his Wikipedia. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, man. Um, yeah, like we said, his family was almost certainly Greek Orthodox. Um, there's, like, accounts that he became Catholic later on, but that's because he lived in Spain for the rest Fuck of his that. life. He was not Catholic. Um, He's Greek. <laughs> He's like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. So let's <laughs> see. Where they really know some fucking art. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Not this fucking Hobby Holly fucking bullshit ass little Jesus nice what does Hobby man. Holly mean <laughs> I don't know just yeah shut the even, fuck up no he was like not this bullshit ass little Byzantine shit I mean, what, what does everybody do man they gotta leave their little shithole he, he, he was like I gotta get out of this shithole I gotta get the fuck out of here what did both of yous do y'all left raggedy dickety ass Baltimore <laughs> for greener <laughs> that's pastures true. That's, true. that's what my guy uh, Greco did man this so is cute here, as hell. Something like Christ or some bullshit. Something about Jesus. Some old school shit. I love it. This this is this is already looking pretty like uh what what year was it? 
15, 16. Yeah, this is very advanced. Like, this is yeah. some fucking... This isn't, like, straight-up Byzantine shit for sure. Right. This looks like just some Italian shit or something. Right. <laughs> I guess with um... that little shitty Greek twist on it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> The colors, the details just aren't quite as good. I like it. Jesus looks kind of black, which I like about El Greco. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He looks like a, a light-skinned guy who has, like, <laughs> Irish in his family. Yeah, he, he looks has a little bit of dark He's got red freckles. In the hair. <laughs> yeah. He looks like Trippy Red. <laughs> he, looks like, he looks like the guy with the dreads from uh, Panic Room. <laughs> I haven't seen Panic Room. <laughs> Neither have I. Google that guy. Uh, yeah. This is fucking. So do we? At what time is this? Is this just a? Do you, is this like early or you? Is just like a random painting of his? It's early. It's um 1560. So he's like young when he painted this. That's pretty impressive, actually. He's like younger, yeah. So let's see here. Yeah, so there was big beef between Catholic and Greek Orthodox, um, especially like on Crete. In Crete, where like a lot of different people were, so everyone tried to claim the guy later on, but. Of um, course, he, his his uncle was actually a Greek priest, so it's kind of like. Come oh on. yeah, step off uh, our dicks, you fucking Italian motherfuckers, so, you fucking cannoli sucking pieces of trash. <laughs> <laughs> so unlike used to's boys, he said, "I got to get out." Of Crete. I got to get the fuck out of here. Like you guys, he got out, but he actually never went back. He said, "Fuck this island, <laughs> I'm going west and west, baby, make a name for myself." I love it. So he left for Venice, obviously, the easy choice, because he basically was a citizen of that He had citizenship, Republic. of course. So that's how he got he to He wanted to get his dick sucked on a gondola. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> yeah, yep. I, would, I would, honestly. That would so be sick. That would he be moves to awesome. Venice, um, but he doesn't really do shit there. He just kind of fucks around, studies a little bit, because he's trying to get to Rome. He's like, Rome is where I'll, I'll pop off. Okay. Um, so in 1570, he moves to Rome, and he was received. Now, usually back then, like Car this happened with Caravaggio too. Some like rich asshole with a palace will just let an artist live there, right? To just make work. So this guy Palazzo Farnese. Okay, um, Palazzo. <laughs> oh no, fuck! That's what the place was called. Damn. Mm. Guest at the that Palazzo means palace, Farnese. That bro. Fuck are you on? Which car? <laughs> Fuck how do you, say, you on with how do you say shit? palace in Albanian? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Is there a word for it? Yeah, it roughly translates up. to mud hut. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Fuck you. Okay, it was Cardinal Alessandro Farnese's place. Farnese. So he was just a cardinal, so. Alessandro he probably, Farnese. He was probably popping churins and smoking opium and had a palace. Oh, yeah. You know he was out there molesting children. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so Cardinal was like, "Look, man, yeah, go ahead, do do what you got to do in the palace." Um, and since he since he met the guy, a cardinal, the cardinal knew other people. His name started popping. Oh, my guy El Greco lives in my palace now. Um, check him out. Since some random guy Fulvio Orsini, just some fucking rich asshole, bought a bunch of his paintings and he started popping. Nice. Let's see if we can't get some other bullshit going here. Back oh. then, once you got into like, once you got into like a prince's castle as like the patronized fucking artist, you were having a good time. That was good, yeah. Like just having bastard children with totally. the help. getting and... pussy from the maids and shit. Yeah. And being like, oh, what you want to be? Either this, your choices are be a maid or be. One of the people we shoot out of cannons to test them. <laughs> your choice, your choice is concubine slash maid, or we're gonna fucking throw you in a fucking trebuchet, bitch. And she's like, "Yes, I said." <laughs> <laughs> nice. This is my backdrop, actually. I believe. Oh fuck, yeah. The Christ changing of the yeah. traitors out of the temple. I think this seventy. Isn't this when he was like, yeah, he was yelling at the money lenders. Yeah, yeah. Yelling at Greco's dad. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like every fucking rich kid that becomes a communist. El Greco started making <laughs> art that was like, yeah, fuck. Fuck Chase Bank. His dad is a fucking C, like, uh, is like, has, has nothing but, um, uh, venture capital firms yeah. and shit. 
Fuck what got me here. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> but this um, actually rocks cock. Jesus yep. looks cool. He still looks kind of like Trippy Red, which I again appreciate. He got um, his little fist up. He's ready to backhand. He's ready to fuck people up. That is a cool part of the Bible, where Jesus, like anyone that's like trying to take advantage of people through banks and money, has yeah, to go. Yeah, that was tight. That was the coolest part. And then shortly thereafter, who set him up? Draw your own conclusions, folks. <laughs> Um, Dude, the titties are out in this one. Oh, no, shit. they're not, Eldis. No, those are all men. Oh, shit. Right, right, right. Why are you snit? You're such a fucking Albanian snitch. I forgot. I forgot. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm just... What a, what a snitch, There man. actually aren't any titties. Well, anyway, let's this. switch then. Yeah, you want to let's be like switch. That. Thanks a lot, Eldis. Jeez, sorry. Here's the Last Supper. Any titties here, buddy? <laughs> oh, is this his little take on the last supper? Just a whole lot of cock for you, Elf. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Yeah, this is his take on the last sup. That's cool. Is this the hater right here? He looks suspicious. He's the most in the dark. Yeah, he definitely looks like he's doing some shadowy hating. There's Josh Judas right there. <laughs> um, so yeah, when he moved to Venice, he switched the style up a little bit. He was like, I gotta switch it up. Like, the first you know, two were pretty good. The first two you showed us were not, and they had a lot of like, I really like the skies in the background. Yeah, he just had to evolve. He was like, man, I'm evolving, man. I'm I'm not in the island anymore, so it's not going to be no straight up Byzantine style. Truth be told, I can't even fucking tell a difference. Like, you know, back then, someone does one little fucking thing and it's an outrage. It's like <laughs> yeah, now yeah, you can't yeah. even tell because now people well, this, just draw like I mean, cocks. and I'm not sure, but from what I understand, like. From what I know about the time, is like this is this does look pretty advanced for then. Like there, it's like a lot of people. There's a lot. I mean, it's like there, it's very layered. It's very rich, and it's like very detailed, which doesn't you usually get. I don't know. I feel like you got during this time frame, you got a lot of those Danish motherfuckers that were like painting with fuzzy light looking type shit, and you got a lot of portraits and stuff. But I don't know. This looks pretty pretty tight. It's hard, all right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think. Well, yeah. I guess. I guess in Venice at this time it was like a little more shadowy than like. What like, was the who were his contemporaries? Was... Well, this is mannerism, um, and it preceded Baroque. Yeah. I don't know his his contemporaries. Fuck, I don't know. Um, I know he was after Michelangelo. Um, yeah, that's the... the thing. That was like kind of the high Renaissance, like right before. Lo like i think i think like venice they started getting like maybe a little more shadowy like mm. and a precursor of like you know the famous like 17th 16th 17th century like that shit like, i think i think it was stuff. even just like, like i don't know i think it was just like kind of groundbreaking just to like paint religious motherfuckers not explicitly in icons almost you know right. what i mean like the very fact that he would just like paint scenes like i don't know but I don't at, know at this about. at this time and for where he was, it really wasn't though. Like yeah. they were they were going off all over Italy from like the fourteen hundred. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. That's long. true. And like Michelangelo was like, Michelangelo was doing like really high crazy shit. Was that like Rome? I guess. I think I, mean, I think like Rome was popping, and then like Venice kind of branched off into mannerism a little. People are talking about these aren't the original colors or something. Yeah, the colors do look like washed out in this too. Really? I'm on his fucking wiki art page. It should be his original bullshit. I know, but even that shit, like, who knows? Yeah, it might just not have survived. Yeah. That's some bullshit. I don't think, yeah, it probably wasn't this, like, brown tinted or whatever. Because his other paintings were really bright. Yeah. The ones we've Let's seen see. so far. The color was, well, like, more vivid. No, there's dark. I mean, there's darker shit. He has some <clears throat> darker shit, but. Anyway, mannerism. Oh, yeah, Florence, that's what I'm thinking of. Someone said Michelangelo was Florence. So yeah. Florence was like the big dick Italians mm. who were just dominating throughout like the 1500s. Right, and the Meduchos. Like, yeah, the Medici. The Meduchos. Super Gladio is saying, I'm just saying that colors can't really survive 500 years. And that's probably true, mm. especially when the paints were like with berries and shit, probably. Right. And like fucking egg yolk. And shit. And shit. Shit and jism. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Maybe it was jizz, but historians just say egg whites. 
Very interesting point, Eldis. Because Jizz would probably hold some aquamarine powder well. Yeah, I see what you're saying, because look at this painting. Maybe they, like, edited it so it can look... Like, more of more it colorful. It Ooh, yeah, this is tight. Yeah. Like, look at these colors. They don't look natural, like, really natural. His shit is cool, though. I mean, it does look a little fuzz, but no, no, I see. That looks like kind of his style. This is fucking awesome, though. I mean, I this th is, I like... I think his shit, his shit looks like... Like, this one here looks like maybe... No, there's something about it where it's like a little cartoonish like or right right no but in a way that nothing else really was you know what i mean yeah like I he mean, has his own quality right right definitely um yeah he does that's why like this is like his early shit it's interesting looking at this and seeing him like trying to do italian shit as opposed to like his late era stuff, which is like what he's really known for. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I look at like. Some and people said he his paints were made with egg white. That's crazy. That's yeah, literally they're crazy. Using, they're using paint white. But yeah, no, I know what you mean, Elvis. This, this does this does look almost like, I don't know. You're right, car cartoon, or like almost like pen. It, it look it looks like at points is pen and paper, which is a big compliment to him. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like it, that. It feels like that. It was like more this fantasy like novel, like someone says. That's true. It has yeah. that feeling. It does. This looks like more. Um, I don't know, like expressive, I guess, and it, d not as realistic as like everything else was obsessed with being. Back right, then. right. That's absolutely true. Yeah, stylized and expressive. Yeah. More so than like it, like either technical, technical. Or, um, or like religious image, like yeah. icon iconic in the traditional, you know, in the actual uh, definition of the word. Right. This looks fucking cool. Yeah. So. But yeah, it definitely feels like it feels like it feels like the cover of a book when you're at the fucking when you're like a little kid and it's like book fair and the cover rocks and you're like, if I read this. It's going to be like watching a cartoon. And then you open it and you're like, what the fuck? This is just another gay-ass book. <laughs> just words and shit. Some Chronicles of Narnia type shit. Yeah, dude. Um, yeah. But yeah, when he was in Venice, like, what one thing he learned was how to incorporate um, atmospheric light, which you don't really learn doing Byzantine shit. Right, exactly. The lighting is... I mean, look at how many different types of lighting... The shit bouncing off that guy's face and the, the chest, the baby. You have the guy in the back with the horse where it's coming through the, like, coming through the fucking um, sky. You have the light, I guess, coming from Jesus. And yeah. then you have, like, the light with the guys and the horses in the back and all this shit. It's just, it's really great. I really fuck with it. <clears throat> fuck yeah. So, by the time he got to Rome, um, Michelangelo and Raphael were dead. But, you know, there were still, like, Everyone still, like, couldn't get over them. Like, of course. these motherfuckers were the truth. Mm -hmm. um, so what El Greco did was he was determined to, like, make his own mark. Um, he he was brutally honest, and people asked him about Michelangelo, and he was like, I'm not really, I was never really fucking with them. <laughs> truth be told. So he was, like, talking Respect. shit about Michelangelo every chance he got. That's awesome. And people obviously <laughs> didn't fucking like that. I don't really care. It's okay. He's all right. I mean, great. Yeah, he's talented. It's but okay. I mean, For me, though, it's fuck. not my thing. You know, I do better shit than that stuff. He's not the best. I mean, come on. He's all right. And he was gay, by the way. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> but that he motherfucker. Raphael. He and Raphael fucked all they the were, time. They were sucking each other's fucking dicks, right? <laughs> my kind of shit, yeah. my laka, nobody fuck. Everybody fuck pussy where I'm from. But over there, they're sucking dick. You can tell me he's a good artist? No. Come no, on, he. They borrow the Malacca, that, yeah, that kind of stuff. You serious, I can't man? see that kind of stuff, man. This you, guy fucked, you, man. Try me, you try me to look at paintings from the fucking guy, gay guys? No. No, I can't do it. I can't Michael, do it for me. That's not for me. What can I say to you? Michelangelo is gay, right? Michelangelo, he sucks dick. And yeah, I'm not... Malacca. He Everybody done, know that, Tora. I'm gonna tell you for the first time. He's gay. He's gay, right? He's not supposed to be gay. He's gay, oh, pustis. 
<laughs> uh, so this is good. Carl, Sh- Carl Shane <laughs> says Malaka Angelo. <laughs> Malaka. So my was um, gay or Malaka. Still not Malaka Angelo. Malaka Angelo. Malaka Angelo. Kalitera tono matu Malakas. Um. Uh, triple word score said El Geico. You were about to be in the fucking piss cage until you said I like nice that. hat stuff. So, you're like, I, I'm, I got the fucking, I got the blicky. Hell yeah. A, yeah. Um, this is he awesome. Was, he was trashing Michelangelo. Um, so, you know, that didn't make him a whole lot of friends. Um, he was basically the only guy who wasn't on Michelangelo's dick. Right. So, but he also was kind of saying, like, you know, later on in his career, he did mannerism shit. I'm on my mannerism shit. I mean, come on, man. It's like, you know, young rappers who are like, I'm the best. Right, right, right. Of course. I'm the best rapper alive. And they have, like, one single on YouTube that has, like, two million views. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, basically, what ended up happening was um, he, he, he realized all the attention he was getting um, he wrote a letter to Pope Pius offering to paint over <laughs> Michelangelo's work in the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> Just really talking that shit. Damn. Heat check. I love that, dude. Yeah, dude. That, that rocks. Was he was not playing. Um, <laughs> huge respect for that move. Yeah, so after that, there were like all these Italian art critics, and they were just like calling him a dumbass foreigner who didn't know how to paint, <laughs> just like shit like that. So he was really doing his thing, man. Hell yeah, dude. Hating too hard. Mark trolling. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some Greek keys over it. I'm going to have a baby with a little penis, and he's going to look good. You have God and you have him and he's touching Adam, but you see they want to have sex. I'm not going to do no gay shit if you put me to do the thing. I'm going to put a Turcos baby. Michelangelo. And it was a fucking Turcos. And I'm going to get the I'm going to have a girl with big tits on it. And it's going to be the whole thing. No gay God and a gay Adam and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and I'm going to have God and it's going to be like, nice pussy, baby, to the girl. And that's what the kind of stuff I'm going to do on my sixteen chapel. <laughs> God damn it. That just reminds me of all the Greek painters. But sure, when, before they knew I was Greek, they'd be like, um... Um... <laughs> Can I have 20 gallons of the um, 200? Uh, and I'll just be like, I'm Greek. You can you can, you can just tell me whatever it you is. You don't have to struggle, man. Just tell me what yeah. you mean. <laughs> You're but, amongst friends. Yeah. A friend of ours. They're like, I'm like, oh, not this You're like, again. look, motherfucker, I'm just trying to help you. We're all from a tiny-ass country, man. I'm three miles away <laughs> from where you're from. <laughs> um, so 15th... Oh, yeah. So anyway... The cardinal, obviously, he was living in the cardinal's palace when he was talking all this shit. And the cardinal was like, you got to get the fuck out, man. You can't be talking shit while I'm housing you. Like, <laughs> really? Yeah. He talked like, such flagrant here. shit, he got evicted. Yep. That's yeah. a Greek guy right there. Absolutely. Talking so much shit about it, Michelangelo, about a gay man that he gets fucking evicted. <laughs> now, what's, what's incredible about it, unlike a normal Greek man who gets evicted and has to move back to Greece, he didn't move back to Greece good for him he decided to go to spain okay 1577 he goes to spain do Um, we have any of his other work though from this era because i'm looking just at his wikipedia page and some of it is so good from this era let me see like um, before that like i'm looking just some of the shit he has the adoration of the magi just on his shit uh it looks so good adoration of the shepherds what year is that? Do you know? It might be later on. 1568. Oh, damn, really? Damn, this shit looks like it has not aged well. Mm, let me just look up at her. Oh, it actually, it looks like more of, it looks like a, an icon. One looks like an icon and one looks like some sharp shit. Hmm. Hmm. 
But it's all good if you can't. Okay, I think I see it here. Let me see. It looks all fucked up, like it's flaky. The, there's Is that one, the one under it that's like sharper. It's very interesting looking. Adoración, adoración de los reyes magos. Did somebody else do this? I don't. I don't know. It's on his Wikipedia. I don't know why they would have somebody else's artwork. Hold on. Just looking around here, trying to find it. Holy Trinity. View of Toledo. The Assumption of the Virgin. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's... I don't know if that's El Greco. I think that's a re... A recreation of his shit? Maybe it is El Greco. But it's from 1568, like, you know what I mean? Is it? I think it's his work. Wait, which one? It looks, it looks like it. Let me share it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. This jerk. Yeah. It's pretty tight. Damn. This one is in Mexico City in the museum right now. Damn. Which is tall. <sighs> and I think we are losing a little bit of, like, vibrance when we share the screen over Zoom. Because I'm looking at it and it looks a little better on my screen. Hmm. Um, so that's probably going on in general, folks. Especially, it's it seems more pronounced with El Greco. It makes this shit look a little muddier. But this is really fucking cool. And you look at the background, like it does, I was joking about Greek keys and shit, but it looks very Greek, like you have the Parthenon, I mean, yeah. it looks like they're in like the sky. Whereas like, yeah. the three wise men shit actually happened in a fucking, you know, it happened in a fuck. this literally is the Greek trash version of the three ma magi story. <laughs> because he's like, they're in a fucking, they're somewhere with marbles, <laughs> and like, and they're floating in like the Acropolis, and behind them is like, more shit. It's like this mythical setting. And yeah. you have the Virgin Mary looking all fucking, you know, she's all put together and shit. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool imagining. Anyway. It's cool, man. The camels are cool, too. It's the guy, Gorko, man. So he, he, he moves to uh, Madrid in 1577. Um, nice. But then he goes right to Toledo because Toledo at the time was the religious capital of Spain. Mm. Um so basically he he goes to spain because like he hears that philip the second needed like this giant cathedral painted um, nice and his go-to bitch was titian at the time or titian i don't know how to say his oh, yeah. name he died so, that guy was good oh yeah he rocked so philip was like damn man who the fuck am i gonna get to paint my cathedral now he like sent letters out to like some prominent artists in europe but all of them were like i can't do it i got other shit going on so um Philip Philip got some other guy, some like lower, like not as well known artist to do some drops and stuff and he was gonna hire him, but then he died. Damn. And El Greco was like, Shit man, I'm gonna try to fucking swoop in, just like make a name for myself off of like necessity and Hell shit. Hell yeah, respect. <laughs> so um He made he made like this connection with this guy who like worked for the king. And um, he told Philip, hey, there's this guy, El Greco, and, like, he's, he's, he's all right. You should give him a chance. So um, El Greco sent the king some um, samples of his work, but the king was like, I'm not really fucking with it. <laughs> he was just like, <laughs> like, this guy was notoriously picky when, like, choosing artists. Right. Um, apparently he, like, mostly only worked with Titian for, like, for, like, years. Right. And so... He liked he the looked, man liked what he liked. Yeah, so um, that was. Hey, you don't want a fucking Greek around, is mm -hmm. what the problem was. <laughs> yeah. You. So anyway, um, <laughs> they, he didn't want him, and El Greco was like, "Well, fuck, I want I wanted to make I wanted to be like a court painter." Yeah. But this isn't gonna happen, so I'm just gonna go back to Toledo. Like, fuck it. So he goes back to Toledo, and he's like getting commissions, and he's he's building up a reputation in Toledo. So like. He, he fails, I think, what, Madrid? Is that where the fucking king was in Spain? I don't know. Probably. Um, so, you know, it wasn't all bad because he didn't get what he really wanted, but he was still making money and living in El Gre uh, Toledo. So, um, 
Let's yeah. look at some Spain, some work. And so he, that shit team. didn't happen with that guy. He never got to be a court painter? No, Philip, <clears throat> Philip wasn't fucking with him. Damn, fuck Phil. So what year was that? 1577. Let's look at some shit for that period, man. Let's see it, baby. Oh, this will like this one. Mm -hmm. Is the two guys kissing? <laughs> yeah, this does have barely this does showing. have Eldest written all over it. Saint Sebastian. Yep. How'd you know? The arrows, bro. What bro. arrows, yo? See that little arrow? Hell no. He got fucked up with arrows, like crazy. Uh, oh, you know Bible stories and shit. I don't fucking know anything about that. Um, he's lying. He has a poster of this. He's right, right <laughs> off camera. <laughs> but he drew the cock. He he had an artist draw a, ver a juicy cock to his I was exact specifications. Literally that exact same thing in my head. I was gonna say it if you weren't <laughs> that he hired someone to draw a cock on it. Anyway, um, Eldis is an art thief. Eldis is an art thief that steals hot guy paintings and and mm -hmm. then gets somebody to draw cocks on them so he can finish jacking <laughs> off to them. He breaks into like the Louvre in a fucking all black Mission Impossible style. And steals steals shit like this. I just don't know why no one in art history was brave enough to draw Jesus's penis <laughs> as an adult. Yeah, um, this is cool though. Yeah, I like the. There is definitely there's a difference. There's something like that sets the human apart from its like setting. You know what I mean? Like it feels a little. I'm not gonna say blurry or but I, I don't know. There's something where it's like. He's a saint. He feels otherworldly. Maybe it's the light around him. There's some quality where I'm like, oh, yeah, this guy is almost better. Or he stands apart from the background, even though it's not really color or anything that does it. If anything, he's kind of muted in the colors. Otherworldly beings. Yeah. Yeah, otherworldly. Um, no, definitely. It's just more like like the body and the rock that he's kneeling on is more um, just more like fucking... What, what what am I trying to say here, Eldis? More detailed. More detailed, more... What's it called? It is more detailed, that's true. Pronounced. Yeah. More, more like up front or something. Yeah, what's more up called? front and in your face. When Eldis first, uh, first saw this painting, you know what he said? Can I see your penis? And I don't know. Dude, um, just, you just walk up to St. Sebastian and rip that little cloth <laughs> off. Yeah, he's tied up and he's got the arrows. What's he going to do? You're like, I got you where I want you. I got you right where I want you, Seb. <laughs> he's tied up <laughs> dying. <laughs> he's tied up dying. Now, and you're, you guys now, are just ready to suck him off. Now get hard before Gawk. my goonies Gawk. shoot some more arrows into your ribs. <laughs> I have goons at the ready. My goonies. <laughs> um, nice. So what do you have? So, okay, this is a good one. What else we got? Okay. Ooh, this shit's... See, yeah, they're looking more... I can't... I can't tell if this is all just... How he's colorful like it. Damn, there's a lot of shit here. <laughs> this one's kind of tight. Let's see it. St. Veronica with the Holy Shroud. That is oh, pretty cool. Shit. Hell yeah, Veronica. Just a white ass Jesus on a fucking. Yeah, he switched up his Jesuses now that he's trying to get the fucking. Now that he's trying to get the kings and shit to paint, he's like, "Look, I'll do Jesus white." I'm sorry about <laughs> mixed race Jesus or from earlier. I'm sorry about my red bone portrayal of Jesus. <laughs> This is really cool, though. Yeah, she's the patron saint of uh, beach towels. That that right there is a beach towel. <laughs> I googled her. Um, what is yeah. she? Of? The patron saint who's Saint Veronica. Yeah. Want me to look it up for you? Nah. Saint can do it right here. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro! It don't even say what she's a patron saint of, dude. Who cares? Who cares, yeah. This is cool, though. And the idea that anyone would have that high quality of, like... It's funny because it looks like a head floating. 
Yeah. Where the shroud is supposed to be like, isn't it like, I believe the shroud was like, after Jesus was resurrected, it like left an imprint. But this right. is like a perfect photo replica of his face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, the shroud of Turin. So is this the shroud of Turin which he's holding up? I guess. No, it's I don't the veil of Veronica. Oh, really? Well, why don't you tell us what that is, Eldest? He's the patron saint of photographers and laundry workers. It literally says here. That's awesome. The shit I'm looking at, it says, according to the church tradition, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, she gave Jesus a cloth. He wiped his forehead. He held it to his face and gave it to her. And his face miraculously was impressed upon it. Nice. This piece of cloth became known as the Veil of Veronica. She mopped his top and wiped his prick off with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the story the Bible doesn't really want you to know. <laughs> right. the, other, the other side has his cock on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, yeah. just the imprint of his under nuts. <laughs> <laughs> nice, that's pretty good. Anyway, fuck her. Let's keep going. Fuck that bitch. Facts. Hmm, St. Peter and Penitence. Look at this motherfucker's cute face. Oh, shit. Look at them forearms. And those yeah. eyes are fucked up, too. Like, damn. Yeah. Hey, Mel, this them arms will... My, yeah. my bad, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was just gonna say, those arms would really grip your dick something fierce, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, this... Now, now we're really getting into... This motherfucker looks like 300 years ahead of his time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this shit feels like... This shit I don't is know. clean, babe. This just does yeah. not feel of the time. This feels like there's something about that face, something about... Look at the background, too. I mean, there is, again, a fantasy-type element to some of this stuff that's pretty fucking tight. You can see, like, the glistening moisture in his yeah, eyes. Yeah, the and eyes shit. are, like, tortured. God damn. And that the thing you said about are... cock. Yeah. The colors are crazy dark and shit. Yeah. Um, it is crazy. And he does a good job. This is the second time he just kind of uses plants to f fill out the scene. And mm -hmm. then is that like a weird specter in the back or is that a rock? What's going on back there? What, this? Yeah. Not sure. It's kind of cool. I think that's a UFO. That's an alien. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's on yeah. I think you he's, are, right? And he's peeking on mushrooms. That's why his pupils are so big. Because I, I was watching Ancient Aliens, and they said that there's hella UFOs in these old-ass icons. <laughs> Other you worldly are, right? beings. <laughs> what? I'll, also, also... You literally something. could make that argument with this. There's that weird... Like, what is that thing? Look at this light. Yeah. You and the, the sun's right here? No, the sun's so there. And the thing, un the what? thing by the alien, that's a spaceship, dude. Look at that thing. Yeah, this shit or that. Yep, this that. thing. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. This is tight. I fuck with this big time. Yeah, I mean the face looks awesome. And again, Eldis, kind of what you were saying before, almost cartoony, like mm -hmm. just like so expressive in such a specific way, and like stylized. Yeah. yeah. I. Uh... I will say this this later era like El Greco stuff. I do kind of hate the colors on it. Why? Too muted. The later stuff. They're all yeah. It it's all like I don't know, so pale or something. I think you like again again. I muted. think you have to think about what his like maybe the degradation of colors. Maybe. What do you mean? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? There's no because I th I think I think that was just like his style or like what he was doing or whatever i like the colors on this i like that they're a little muted and i like that he even shows us that green almost like barely I, you're probably right he meant to do this because that green is like hey i'm all, it's a little bit of a pop i could yeah. maybe do a little yeah. more and i think a lot of it stands in contrast to to the green stuff but i don't know i don't mind i don't i haven't seen a lot of his later work but i really this particular one i really like this shit's cool um, cheekbone. Yeah. That's actually exactly what Stav does when I take my penis out. <laughs> I pray. I pray to God. That's the I'm like on Lord. Your face. Why do you make something so small? <laughs> it may. It hurts my brain to contemplate something so little. <laughs> Lord, why did you curse my best friend this way? Why did you curse my Albanian companion this A way? Boy, I love so much. Every time I see his little cock <laughs> hopping at the share. 
Yeah, and God's like, shut up, bitch. Shut up. He fucks you're... good. Shut no, up, he bitch. doesn't. He fucks good. No. You he doesn't bitch. fuck good. <laughs> he fucks bad. <laughs> He fucks good and has a really cool no. dick. Unlike your ass. No. Man, this motherfucker has 18 million fucking paintings, man. Should I skip forward a little bit? Yeah, skip forward a little bit. Should I go to the six to 1600? It? Yeah. Yeah. I got, a, I got a request. It. What go little ahead. boy? Laicon. That's a cool one. What I is it? Uh, a painting of his called Laicon. Like L A O C O O N? Like on? Oh, yeah. like on. I think it's this like motherfucker, some... man. I'm talking about Leia Conch. It's Shut your bitch ass thing. up. I wrote a paper about that painting in college. Oh, for real? Yeah, I got an A minus. I'll mm. never forgive that bitch. Yep. Should have been an A. Whoa, this shit is fucking crazy. Oh, there's cock in it. Ah, uh, is there? Yeah. What? Well, guys, yeah, look up Lycon. Even though there's cock in it. Lycon, it's really dope. El Greco. There's a nice little cock to the left of, of the painting. <laughs> that's that's the only cock, but there is a cock. Clear is as day. Cock? Oh, yeah, there is peen. There, there's a hairless <laughs> cock on a grown man. Uh, oh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Damn, this is fucking tight. You think I could put my mouse over the little cock? Yeah, I think so. Alright, let's Try see. it out. Fuck. Yeah. Or, or should I just... Nah, put the mouse on it. Yeah. Put the whole mouse on it. Put Here. the mouse on it slash let's see some penis. Here's the cock that I, I have the mouse over it. Can there you, you see go. it? It's blocked. I can't I'm see blocking it. it. I'm blocking it from my end. Oh, should I stop sharing? No, no, no. no. You can, just, you can keep oh. sharing. I'm blocking the cock, though. Damn, this shit is tight. Oh, nice. This is really cool. And this has a little more color for your bitch ass there, Aldous. Yeah. But this is what I mean. With the, the, what he does to the face, like, the people almost, like, blur. He's dead. Yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just crazy. Like Skeltron, thank you, brother. This shit, like, his later shit kind of reminds me of, um... What's that? Who's that one guy who, like, just went fucking nuts in a cabin or some shit and started painting all that crazy ass shit? Pusilius. Remember Smoothie? Who is I know who you're guy? talking about. I don't fucking know. The rape, the child rapist. Oh, we did him. Did we do him? Yeah, yeah. Was it Car? Was it? No, it wasn't Caravaggio. It was um, Gauguin. No. Egon Schneel. This, the Spanish dude, I think maybe. Oh, Goya, Goya, Goya. Goya. Yeah, yeah. Goya wasn't the child, child rapist, was he? No, no. Gauguin was. Yeah, Goya was the truth. Yeah, this oh, is awesome. Oh, but yeah. they're, but they're both, both their later shit, like, I don't know. It just seems like they're, they're growing, like, completely. It gets creepier, the for style sure. style of the time. And, yeah, and it gets darker. Um, I don't know. It's yeah, this cool. one's really fucking cool, honestly. Yeah, I love I know, it. I know the background of that was, like, uh, I think it was, like, Toledo, where he was living. Right. He was, like, Toledo as the intro. Why don't you give us some of that A-minus fucking analysis there, Eldis? I'm trying, man. I'm trying to see what I remember. <laughs> I can pull the paper up and read all nah, nine pages of nah. it. <laughs> nah, don't do that. Here's something you did just about Toledo. Oh, shit. This is weird, dude. It says view and plan of Toledo. This is fucking cool as shit. Oh, like this is a study or some shit? Yeah, like a guy's like... Damn, that, that guy that guy on the right is crazy. I don't think I've The guy on the right is crazy, the thing flying is crazy, the thing on the left is I mean this That's is a UFO fucking, up there. This this is getting to be this is fucking we like this is you have to admit this is completely out of bounds from anything going on at this time. Yeah. This this also just looks like I don't know, this looks cooler to me than like his finished paintings or whatever. If it's if that's what it is, like just the study. Oh, Definitely he meant this tough. isn't finished? It just what says view. It says view of Toledo. Is what this, this looks is like. This looks like fucking Dada. It almost looks like a fucking collage. Yeah. I wonder if, like... Is it even... Is this even, like, his? Did he draw that guy on the right? 
There's something about how this is like laid out that just makes me wonder if this is even. Like I know what you mean because it's so crazy and weird. Yeah, like it looks like a collage. That's what I, <clears throat> I just said. That. Uh oh. Should I? Should My I dick was too hard. No. Stop sharing. No, I couldn't hear. Lisa. I couldn't hear because I couldn't hear because. Mm -mm. The sound of the blood rushing to my no. cock was way too loud. In no, room. it wasn't. And my cush is also too loud. No, no it's El Greco. El Greco 1610. That's awesome. That's really fucking cool. That's cute. Um, That's cute. <laughs> here's a saint all fucking. Hey, give us some more up. later stuff. Let's get some, some of the late. Okay, this is some, once again in the 1610s. Fuck. Whoa. Saint uh, Idelfonso or some Hell bullshit. Yeah, dude, this shit this looks crazy rules. too. He's just jeweled up. He looks awesome. This has a weird little collage look to it too. Yeah, this is fucking tight as hell. Hell yeah, he's holding an umbrella. He's reading a book. He's wearing a dress. That shit's tight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Loving God. Love it, love it, love it. Soaking in God's love. Hmm. This guy's too well Soaking up. something, all right. <laughs> My dick. Damn, man. Look at look at this motherfucker's garments. I know. I know. I love I love how priests literally were just flexing on poor people. They just like <laughs> didn't follow any of the Bible. They just wore jewels and fucked whores and did yeah. drugs. <laughs> And they were rich as fuck. <laughs> the popes back then were pieces of shit. I mean, they're creepy now, but back then they just like lived in mansions and yeah, really had their worse. enemies killed, got pussy yeah. all the time. They were just they're super like, powerful. They're like, I could try to help get you into heaven if you pay me ten bucks right yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> literally they're, mafia shit. Yeah, yeah. Fucking rocks. Nice. Pay so, me ten dollars and I'll send a card to God, reminding him. Yeah, yeah. You're a good guy. <laughs> um. How um how long do you, how long do you live until when? Okay, so let's just finish them up here. Then we got we got like five artist submissions. So that's cool. I love it. So so in sixteen oh seven, he was in a legal battle with a hospital over payments for work. <laughs> he got stiffed by a bunch of these religious institutions fucking up his bag. Wow. Um, what the it fuck? Fucked, it fucked his money up considerably, but he was still living lavish. Um, he had a Spanish dime piece that he had a son with, but he never married her. Respect. Um, <laughs> he died while working on his last commission, April 7th, 1614. He Should was just an old sickly man. So he was really just like a fucking lunch pail artist. He was just doing commissions, huh? Yep. Also, a fun fact about him, he took his whole team with him to Toledo. Oh, really? Yeah, he didn't leave his squad behind in Crete. How many he, people did he bring? He put them all on. Just his, his squad, man. That's awesome. Putting the whole just, team on Just a, a little hand. It was his brother and like five of his friends. They all lived with him in Toledo. Shit. That's the dream, just, man. Just lived off the bag. That's the dream. I'd love to get us to that place, boys. <laughs> That'd be great, babe. We all, we hey, all I'm all in... for it. <laughs> I think Eldest wouldn't want that, though. I think he really likes... Um, I just think he really likes writing articles. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like writing. What's that gay dude that, that gets beat up for talking shit? That Perez Hilton... The Perez Hilton-style articles? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Eldest doesn't want to be in the entourage. He's got listicles to approve. I kind of did when I was in New York, but now that I've been in Ohio for four months, I'm like, eh. <laughs> life is simple out here. <laughs> Can we look at one more thing on El Greco? Sure. Yeah, what do you want, one. honey? It, on his Wikipedia, just go to the section where it says influence on other artists, and they have like two really sick side by sides of like two of his paintings and two of Picasso's paintings. Oh shit! Okay, I those, see what you're those shits are crazy side by sides. I'd also love to see the like his shit in detail. Like I want to see the mo like, I want to see his shit like in the most detail. Yeah. Oh shit, that's awesome. Yeah. So see, the homie Picasso was fucking with him. He said, "This guy's a genius." So Damn, was that him, do... Jorge? Ma no, no, 
He didn't do the whole portrait of Jorge Manuel. He did the opening of the Fifth Seal, right? No, he did. He did both. He did both. Really? Yeah. Damn. That one. It says that one was sixteen hundred to sixteen oh five. So that's. But, but, yeah. But Picasso's version was like you know. Yeah. Like clearly referencing that one specifically. So, yeah, I don't, absolutely. I don't think. I don't think the Demoiselles was. Um, because that was just influencing, like, a bunch of shit at once, I think. Right, right, right. But, yeah, uh, I mean, you see his fucking range. I mean, look at the opening of the Fifth Seal compared to, like, that just awesome technique of this portrait. Like, that portrait's incredible. Yeah. yeah. That portrait and, is. And the, uh, the opening of the Fifth Seal is fucking cool as shit. That shit is cute. It's colorful. Yeah. Yeah, that lady's definitely having some religious... Oh, is that a dude? That guy's having some crazy-ass religious experience. Damn, that shit is crazy. I'm, like, looking at a zoomed-up version of it, like, the... I don't know. It looks just so... Which one? Picasso's or Greco's? Move. Greco's. Dude, he has a lot of good shit. Like, the way... Damn, when you look at, like, the sky up close, it's just crazy how he blended that shit. Yeah, like, his shit but, is very... Bl- like, that's the thing. I'm looking at some up-close shit, too, and it's, like, you really it's, have it's, to zoom out to get an... Sorry, there's some, there's some cockies on this. What should I do here? Uh, just... We can leave it. Just don't do this one. Cut out of here. Um, yeah, I'm looking at some zoomed in shit, and I'll actually maybe use it for the. I'll bring it to the people here. It's re- like I'm looking at the clouds. Spe- like that's a hand, folks. The one you're looking one. at. But I'm looking at the clouds specifically on it, and it's like. It's like you could just see the brushwork really hard on this. Yeah, exactly. When you look at his detail, it's like. It's brush strokes. It's 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 he. It's really interesting how he makes something look so defined, without a lot of like really clear like specific lines or anything. It's really just the way he blends his colors. Yeah. But my dick is hard. No, it's not. Nope. 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 Quiet. <laughs> Quiet. Well, that's El Greco, perhaps the greatest artist. Incredible stuff there. And listen, we only scratched the surface of this motherfucker. He's got a whole lot of shit going on that we didn't even get to. Yeah. Um, so look him up on your own time, El Greco. He's good as shit. I want to see him live, man. I want to go to museum. I'm pissed. Muse- I want to go to museums, man. This sucks. I hate the fucking pandemic. What place has a big ass El Greco? I think there's like a big ass one. Is, it in Is there one in Baltimore? Where's the there's an El Greco in Baltimore? There is one, right? I feel like we've seen yeah. it. Yeah, we have. I think the Le- Leicon is... Oh, it's in the National Gallery. That's where I saw that shit. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right, I just yeah. I just sent you the email stuff for the uh, submissions. Okay. Um, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Eldest voice. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> All right, I got you, bro. Cool. Let's check out the art. Let's see our submissions this week. All righty. Okay. First. First, we got um, Gary Ruddle. This is a. Um, GaryRuddleStudio.com Art site He His site is crazy He has a lot of stuff A lot of dope oh, shit Oh shit Gary This is called The Blind Musician This looks yeah, awesome Gary 60 by 60 I'm Damn, assuming my centimeters dick by my dick <clears throat> No Yes This is very fucking nice I mean this is this fucking rules, Gary. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I love the schmears. And again, kind of what we were talking about fucking El Greco. Everything's like brush strokes, yeah. but it's very well defined. I like the fuzziness on, on the margins, on the edges of everything. And still, it's like... Clearly, everything is its own thing. It's, it doesn't blend into each other somehow. Yeah. Um, and the light, the fuck, look at the hands. The light on the hands. Yeah. Playing the fucking flute, that's wild. Yeah, you can just tell this guy's a... Fat cocked artist, a ton of fucking artwork on his website. Yeah, go check out Gary Gary Rudell Studios. This shit is awesome. That stop sucking dick in the front and me pounding pussy in the back. No, it isn't. No, it's your not. cock is a sledgehammer. 
<laughs> yeah. No. And pussy is a, like a brick wall. There's a woman in that house that that's trying to have through. sex with you, and you trying to just, you're trying to kill her and demolish the house. I'm like, oh, I. Well, I'm that. peacefully I think playing that was a song. Wall in the background. Well, I'm peacefully playing a song to attract women, in the front. No. Love it. But yes, check out Gary. This is fucking. This Shout is like top quality type shit. Fuck yeah! Shout out that boy Gary. Um. So. Okay. What else we got? Shout out that boy Gary. We can show butts, right? No I cocks suppose. or titties. Fuck it, yeah. Because we've showed plenty of ass. Is this Safadino? Yep. Okay. So Wait. the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Apparently, this is Gary's son. <clears throat> nuh uh. Safadino is the one who hit me up about Gary, and then he oh, said, wow. I make some shit too. That's I awesome. Send me something about you. This is a nurse pissing in the sink, apparently. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, the young generation pushes the envelope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what can you do about it? This is re this is really good, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's a great sketch. It's just funny. That's awesome. The ash is juicy, which I like. So, yeah, that's yeah. Safadinho Paujinho. <laughs> Which sounds like a fake Brazilian name. I'm not sure. yeah. <laughs> His dad's named Gary Riddell. <laughs> what the fuck? What you know, this guy's name is Mark Safadinho. Riddell, man. Um, yeah, yeah this rock Safadinho. So there he is. Um, let's go to Neil. Neil AV Art. Whoa, this yeah. is called Bears in the Balance. <laughs> Sick. I love it. This is called Eldest's Dream Vacation. <laughs> Eldest is the one taking the picture. <laughs> These guys are about to wreck his holes and put the seesaw in his ass afterwards. Ideal body type. So once again... <laughs> this body type is what every woman dreams of. It's me and Eldest if he shaves his head hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Once again, this is, um, yeah, this is Neil. Shout out Ken, his son. He was like, hey, my dad makes wild paintings. Can you? Yeah, this is cool. Can you show one of his paintings? And yeah, so check out his Instagram. It's a lot of cute, like, gay bear inspired stuff. So I love it. It so rocks. Cool. Damn, he should draw me then if he loves cute little gay bears. Tell I'm your dad to draw. I'm like, my body is beautiful. <laughs> Tell your dad to draw me, dude. So next up we have Scott Lowlead. He he um Ugh. Oh hell yeah. He had something last week. Whoa. This is tight. Some creepy shit. That yeah. Creepy. Um I think his website is in his bio. Um his website has like high res, like a like a bunch of his work and it's all high res. Um I had a tough time choosing because he had a lot of cool shit, so. This is really fucking tight. I really fuck with this. This little fucking creepy specter. The house is cool. Yeah. Very ghosty looking. Mm -hmm. Definitely definitely some cool vibes. Yeah. Now, is the whole piece, like, is it is this all the piece, or is the piece just the thing in the yellow, or is it all, like... I think it's the whole piece. Because like, I think it looks cool as is. I'm just wondering like if it's, dogs. like, a way he presents things in on his website or something. No, no, no. Because, um... His other art wasn't didn't have like a border, so I think gotcha. it's just kind of like the whole idea. It's cool, I like it. Yeah, cool. yeah, it looks like a, some ghost type shit that's like secure in this little yellow shit. It's about to bre it's breaking out of whatever the stipple shit is. It yeah, looks cool. Yeah. Dope, dope. So, someone said Devil Jenga. That shit did look like Jenga to me at first. Oh, Jenga. Yeah. True, indeed. It didn't look like that to me because my dick is big. No. Okay, yes. next up we have Callie Ryan. Callie! Shout out to Callie. Ooh! Whoa. She has an awesome website. Have they presented before? I don't think she has, no. This is really cool. I really fuck with this. So, her website rules. I believe it's... I want to say it's on her in her bio. I just we just linked her um I just linked her IG, yep. Um but it's callyryan.net if you want to check it out. Great colors, great fucking shapes. Oh, a whole lot of shit going on. I mean on. the you colors are great and the composition is really fucking weird, but 
eye-catching. This looks like Carrie James Marshall or some shit. It does it look does, a little bit does. like that. It does look that's that's what I think what it reminded me of. It does it does look like that and and like David Cock meat kind of like a blend. A little bit of cock meat, but I think yeah. more I'm getting more yeah. of the other shit. Yeah. No, you're and, right. I do uh, I do feel a little bit of both. But I like I what's think the going color on. is more cock meaty. You can see some people in here, a little boy in this house. Is that a little boy or an old ass man? Here? Yeah. I feel like it's a boy. I don't it's know. It's like an old ass man to me. I like guy? how there's people naked for no reason. Yeah. Nah, man. They went to the beach. She's in the douche. Oh, douche. You're, right, you're right. Yeah, what the man. fuck? What about that guy, though? Who, him? Yeah. He's probably bathing. Sun bathing. He's okay. He's like, oh, I got to take a shower, too, actually. <laughs> this looks like it might be like a fat little dog. I love the fat little dog. He's cat, like, I, I gotta know. take a shower too. I'm horny. Really nice, really nice addition <laughs> to the conversation, Elders. True. Yeah, that was tight. I'm just playing around. You're just having a good time, I know. But yeah, this is really good. Shouts out to Callie. So that's Callie. Yeah, that's awesome. And last but not least, I, he just sent this. Oh, an old faithful. Big semi coolon. Our boy semi. <laughs> Hell he, yes. um, apparently he got a commission. This is a commission after someone saw his piece he did on you and your ponytail. I love it, dude. That's this awesome. rocks. Which came to fruition if you saw Stav's IG post. That's right. I don't Delicious have my ponytail, ponytail in right now, but go to my most recent Instagram <laughs> post and see it. In fact, maybe I'll pull it up. <laughs> I can do it if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and pull it off? So check this but out. This is I'm very nice. I love it. I love it. I love that we're getting our boys. I love that our boys are eating off this. I hope you got a little bit of money there, Semi. I do like his little distinctive uh, style. It's tight. Mm -hmm. He rocks. Big Semi. Semi Kulin. So big shout out to the boy. And uh, George, why don't you post some of your... Share your beauties from this week. Fuck. Hold on. Uh... I don't know why they're always small as shit. It's probably gonna look bad, but whatever. Ooh, I love that one. This one looks great in person. It doesn't really do it justice on IG. I mean, it looks the colors really pop in person. I yeah. saw it when I was in Baltimore. This, this is really fucking sick. good shit. Thanks, man. Really good shit. Yeah, man. Check out Georgie's newest piece, and I'll link yeah. to you. And um, I'm in the process of making my little website. So Fuck. be on the lookout if you guys want to buy some art. Hell yeah. Um, I don't know whether to make a little more Are you going to sell paintings or prints? Paintings because I used to um, get my shit scanned, but they cost like straight up hundreds of dollars to get those joints scanned. Yeah. So can't really do it at the moment, but I do want to sell prints later on. Yeah. Maybe I can get some capital off this and yeah. reinvest. Out. Hell yeah. So mm-hmm. check out Georgie. Yep, and let's take a look at... Um, Semi says, check out a Canon Pixma printer. Canon Pixma? Yeah, How's it, but he's got to scan his paintings, brother. <clears throat> Looks almost like paints as he uses pigment inks. Wow. I think, but that's to, to you to... Actually, print. We're talking about actually scanning them. Yeah, and there you go. Everyone wondering how the ponytail's looking? We're making some real progress, folks. <laughs> There's a nice close up right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not exactly as, as big as um, it shows at Semi's artwork, but it's getting there. But we're there. getting there. We are absolutely so getting that. there. Yeah. Um,. Anyway, folks, thank you for uh, tuning in. Go check out Georgie's artwork. And if you liked our, our introductory uh, uh, music, that was Eldis's Bitch Ass with some beautiful beats. Eldis, That's you right. missed it. Bubsy said he played your beats at a party and got pussy. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. Shut up, Bubsy. Yep, yep. I'll be getting yep. my three-inch dick brother some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a beautiful thing. Nicole Nicole asks, how do we get a painting from you, George? He's in the process of setting up a website, but you can DM him perhaps in the meantime. My. Um, so go to Art by Judzi. 
Um, I don't I'm know really trying to get this shit done within like this week. I just got my printer to like print out shipping labels and shit. Yeah. Um, everything else looks pretty solid. The homepage is gonna be bullshit. Um, but I don't give a fuck. I don't fuck know how to it, make man. any of this shit. Fuck it. Um, fuck it, bro. I'm not no smart ass tech motherfucker like that. So that's right, brother. Be on the lookout. <laughs> Um, well, all right, folks, that's going to do it for us. Thank you. I will be back this Friday with Stabby Solves Your Problems. Please check us out and uh, check out George's artwork, and uh, we'll see you Friday. Buy a shirt, stavi.biz. Talk to you later, folks. Bye. See you. See you. Bye.